నమస్తే వెల్కమ్ టు ద ఎసెన్స్ ఆఫ్ నాలెడ్జ్ వీక్లీ మీటింగ్స్ దిస్ మీటింగ్ ఈజ్ అ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎసెన్స్ ఆఫ్ నాలెడ్జ్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ యాజ్ యు నో దిస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఈజ్ అవైలబుల్ ఫార్ ద సీకర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద పాత్ ఆఫ్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఇట్ ఈజ్ ఫ్రీ అండ్ ఆన్లైన్ అండ్ ఎనీబడి కెన్ యాక్సెస్ ఇట్ పార్టిసిపేట్ ఇన్ ఇట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద వెబ్సైట్ గ్యాన్ మార్గ్ డాట్ గురు అండ్ దిస్ మీటింగ్ ఈజ్ అ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ హియర్ ఐ ట్రై టు ఆన్సర్ యువర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఐ ట్రై టు హెల్ప్ ఇన్ యువర్ వెరిఫికేషన్ ప్రోసెస్ వీ కండక్ట్ tests and uh, i try to support you in the awareness practice purification practice knowledge dissemination and so on so this is a complete program anybody who is interested can join and uh, if there are any questions of the participants they are most welcome as you know there are no lectures in the meeting it is simply to assist you in the program i am attending this session for the first time and i am little have done the first level and get confused about verification proof and how i move ahead so would like little support on that it is very easy all you need to do is check the main teachings in each lesson which you must have noted in your notes see what your direct experience and uh, logic intelligence says about the teaching are they valid are they true if yes you need to simply click the button verified there is a button on step number 3 under each lesson there are 20 such buttons so every time you verify a lesson you need to click that button and uh, once the verification is finished once all 20 lessons are marked verified then you can ask for test will conduct a test here in this meeting if you pass the test you will be sent to step number 4 what if you cannot verify that is the difficult thing now what if you don't get the direct experience of whatever is told in the teachings and uh, you cannot logically conclude that whatever was said is true or not and this meeting is for that note down what is not true according to you ask it in the meeting and i'll try to help in that verification i'll try to point to your direct experience and i'll try to help in the logical conclusions also how we concluded something and if you're satisfied you can press the verified button on that chapter and so on but even after my pointing even after me telling the answer or clearing the doubt if the doubt remains that means mm-hmm. the teaching was not verified that means the program can be dropped now so it looks like very difficult but it is very easy because if you see the first 10 mm-hmm. chapters are simply introduction to the path what are the qualities what are the characteristics of the path of knowledge if there is nothing to think there there is nothing to verify there mm-hmm. the first 10 chapters you need to simply verify only two things the first is means of knowledge whatever means or means of knowledge we have adopted on the path of knowledge are they good according to your observation that is important to verify and second is criteria of truth whatever we are calling as true and false are they valid are these criteria valid these are most important things to verify in the first 10 chapters next probably 7 or 8 lessons they are very important and you must verify each and every conclusion there about the existence experience experiencer and why it is one that is the oneness part and self realization why i am i am not any kind of experience these uh, main teachings need to be thoroughly verified and after that thing there is one chapter on awareness practice in one chapter on uh, a contemplation something like this there, there is nothing to verify there also if you agree with the, whatever is said you can assume that it is verified so this is my short uh, explanation you will get one or two months to do this job there is no hurry you can take time whenever there is a doubt attend the weekly meeting every saturday 8 o'clock pm 8 pm ist and uh, i'll try to help that is the point of the meeting actually that's why it starts at the step number 3 
where really help is needed help of somebody who has already verified these things but there is a condition there that if it is not verified there is no point in proceeding on the path of knowledge if you found out something is wrong here some teachings are wrong according to your own experience that means this path will be totally useless so for example if the means of knowledge are are not verified if you think that means of knowledge is something else some other book is my means of knowledge that means there is no point in proceeding on the path because it is totally based on experience same way if you think that no the criteria of truth must be whatever my family members say is true i am just jokingly taking an example nothing else is true that means there is no point in proceeding on the path because every thing which is called true is based on our criteria of truth and some justification is given for uh, this kind of uh, criteria you need to check it validate it verify it so hopefully that clears so we'll go to the next question by bhupen i have heard from some contemporary sage bhakti marg that feeding the senses causes causes hunger even more and more so should we forcefully stop the desires or to feed the senses as they desire according to path of knowledge the answer is very simple which we uh, keep repeating in our meetings actually the answer is do that which is necessary do not do something because somebody said it especially somebody who is not on your path they have their own you can say commandments do's and don'ts on the path of knowledge there is nothing like this you are free to do whatever you want but the recommendation is do that which is necessary if uh, it is necessary to eat yes you are feeling hungry eat it eat something if it is necessary to sleep sleep if it is necessary to work to earn money and all yes you must these are all desires isn't it desire to eat desire to sleep desire to uh, form relationships family protect oneself and live a comfortable life these are all desires so can we forcefully stop all these desires no this uh, instrument will uh, get destroyed instrument means the body mind organism you can try but it will not be possible it is not uh, recommended also to try don't do this if it is necessary you will see that it happens automatically even if it is forced to stop you can delay it for example you can delay your hunger for 2 3 hours probably one day like fasting you can delay your sleep for few hours but uh, it cannot be stopped there are more such things the first thing it is uh, not good to simply assume uh, somebody else's speech as uh, true like you say your own direct experience try to stop your desires so here particularly the focus is on senses and uh, probably the meaning here is unnecessary activities of the senses indulgence for example your hunger is satisfied with simple food but your tongue desires tasty food can you stop it yes it is possible your eyes are useful in uh, detecting what is good what is bad what is beautiful what is not but uh, they want to see something which is uh, totally unnecessary like watching movies whole night or watching uh, sports all day that is probably not a problem of eyes but eyes are being used here it is pleasurable to see all these things can we stop it yes so all that is not necessary can be stopped you can also get rid of it completely like a sanyasi differentiate what will happen is your life will become absolutely boring tasteless and your mind will become dull and uh, intelligence will drop i mean these are all experimental things if anybody wants they can experiment the body will become weak and there will be no motivation because every day you are eating boiled rice you are staring at a wall nobody talks to you nothing this is kind of extreme thing this organism this body mind instrument human being requires some kind of motivation require something to go on in the life if the basic needs are satisfied it needs something extra probably it will need a book probably 
it will want to listen to music probably it will want to eat something spicy or sweet probably it will want a partner love or some comfortable equipment like a car ac because too hot in india this is not indulgence now everybody will have their own borderline here where do you want to draw the border between what is necessary and what is indulgence in sense sensory pleasures and everybody is free to draw their own border this is the teaching of the path of knowledge there is no commandment there is no command here do this don't do this now these commands are for stupid people you cannot decide on the path of knowledge you have the knowledge you have the intelligence you decide where i am crossing the line from necessary to unnecessary so in short avoid the extreme and you will be okay not extremely less not extremely more and you will be okay it's fine if the senses want something if you satisfy the need it's perfectly okay because this instrument is made like this but if the demand goes beyond some limit the senses want uh, the trash food every day or alcohol one bottle every day now something is wrong here something extreme is going on so balance balance is the mantra not extreme feed the senses yes no problem at all on the path of knowledge make your life beautiful enjoy this momentary dream that has appeared where you think i am a human being what is wrong in that be the human being also be the person but do not do it so much that it becomes a problem it causes distortion in the mind or it causes diseases in the body that much any intelligent person will do without telling there is one more thing if you suppress the desires whether it is of senses or something else intellectual whatever it causes a lot of problems so fulfillment of desires is not banned on the path of knowledge because we trust that the seeker will be intelligent enough to fulfill it in the most beautiful way a common example i give is suppose you want to eat uh, some food it is costly so you have two options here or probably many options one option is to steal the food because you want it so badly second option is to earn money that much money buy it eat it now any intelligent person will pick the second option if it is to be done it must be done properly beautifully a stupid person will choose the first probably because it's shortcut so on the path of knowledge we assume that yes you will fulfill the desire nicely and you will not overdo it yes it is done i got that thing now there is no uh, need to earn money day and night work like a donkey to feed this thing to me again and again to this instrument it's done this is called satisfaction contentment i'm happy now next thing this is called intelligence or discrimination in ancient language in sanskrit vivek discriminate properly and then nothing will trouble you there will be no need to suppress the desire there will no need to force the senses and there will be no need to listen to random people what should be done you are your own decision maker so hopefully i gave you a detailed answer but hopefully that will be helpful for others also i want to add to this topic that uh, if you ask 10 people what should we do what should we not do you will get 10 different answers which one you will follow so listen to everybody but do that which you think is correct listen to everybody you will find people like this in the society or oh, you are a seeker but you eat uh, things that grow below the ground that is not correct isn't it they will try to impose their own mentality on you look i am a seeker i never eat potatoes i'm just giving you a answer by the way there is such a thing in india they do not eat anything some people <laughs> they do not eat anything which grows below the ground but do you need to simply copy that person because their path recommends that thing no like i said use your own discretion discrimination vivek there will be more people who will try to impose their own ethics to on to you and again you will need to use your own intelligence what is necessary for me you need to decide what if your guru tells you do this and do not do that what should you do 
This is a tricky question. Your guru tells you, don't do this, don't eat this, don't live there, don't do this work, even though the guru is on the path of knowledge. Remember, he is your guru. What will you do? Will you say, no, I'll use my own criteria, I'll use my own intelligence. What do people think? Let me know. Because there is nothing, I think there, there are no more questions today. But if there are, you can always write it. I'll stop the discussion and answer this thing. Your question first. Okay, there is a question. How can I be connected to you in other higher state? Remember that you and I are one. If it is one, do you need to get connected? Because it takes two to make any connection. Have you forgotten? That at the high, highest level, it is all one. This shows that you think that I am not actually connected or I am, not, I am separate and you are separate. So awareness practice is failing here. I know what you mean. You are talking about the psychological connection, not the spiritual. Because spiritual, it is already one. You want to be connected in a psychological way. It is not even psychological, metaphysical way. So remember, it will be an action in the illusion. There is no truth in that. What is true is that we are one at the highest possible level. And if you are happy with that, you will never feel any need to get connected anywhere. But if you have a need, if you have a desire to do this in the illusion, which will be totally false connection, remember, then to manipulate the illusion, you should have that ability, isn't it? That is the answer to how. Develop the ability to connect with any mind. I don't know what you will do for that. I don't know what will be the use of that for you. But uh, hopefully it will be useful. I know why you are asking. You must have heard it from somewhere. Like you heard it from that person. Stop the senses. So you must have heard it from somewhere. That the Guru is connected to their disciples in the higher state. So first you should investigate. Is it true or not? Bhupen is saying, I got my ignorance in the very first sentence. Yes, it is, that is my job to point out the ignorance. But I can fully understand why this question appeared in your mind. You must have heard it somewhere. Now, wherever you heard it, you should in start investigation. Is it true or not? Is somebody simply telling you a story or not? You should ask for the evidence. If there is no evidence, that means there is no point in doing it. Secondly, if there is evidence or you believe it blindly, let us say, there must be some purpose. There must be some use of it. Like, why can't you simply send a message on Telegram if you want to ask something? Why do you need to do that Tantra Mantra to get connected? Just to get an answer, there is no point in doing that kind of hard work. You know how much hard work that is? It will take many lifetimes till the evolution happens, the minds are known and the oneness of the mind is experienced, the connection is made. Where will be I at, by that time? Where will be you? Nobody knows. Is there me or is there you? It's highly doubtful. This thing which you are thinking is your guru is actually not there, momentary. There is no point. The second thing is putting all the knowledge aside totally in the domain of the illusion, anything is possible. For that, just like I said, you need to develop that ability. Secondly, your guru also must have that ability. There is no guarantee that the other person, the other party will be interested in connecting or will be interested in developing that kind of ability. There is no guarantee. But yes, it is possible to learn these things. Psychic connection is possible in the illusion. I mean, what is not possible? Everything is possible there. So these are uh, the... Non-physical states, if you have listened to the Vibronics series on YouTube, on my channel, higher states of the mind are described. There, the boundaries of the physical are not present. No time, no distance. Can you reach that state? Hopefully, or you can learn it. And the best way to learn it is by joining somebody who already knows this. In other words, who has this kind of special power and is willing to teach you that power. To get that power. We have done our own attempt, which is called Tantra Bodhi program, where all these secrets are given. But the only problem is, it will not make you this kind of um, 
person with superpowers immediately that program gives you enough information about the states of the mind and some practices and then you will need to keep doing them for we don't know how many years how many lifetimes then you will get a small kind of ability so yes everybody is most welcome to apply for tantra bodhi if your path of knowledge is successful if i see a little bit of development progress on the path of knowledge you will be allowed there and uh, you can listen to all those lessons there about tantra and it is vast there are more than 60 or 70 videos there but the good thing is you don't have to write much there is some writing there are no tests nothing is there no satsang no meeting you are on your own and then you are left to practice by the time you will be somebody else i'll be somebody else this illusion is completely impermanent probably whatever you heard about connecting to other people will not feel very appealing because you are a tantric now that kind of power is totally amazing why will you want to connect to somebody who is completely useless for you so you will want to connect to the great masters isn't it probably your question is coming from this deeper desire to remain connected to the great gurus so it is possible yes ha huh? it is possible however i told you the truth which is slightly bitter but on the path of knowledge we don't worry about the taste of the truth we simply tell it hardly anybody is capable in this age of mankind which is called kaliyug hardly anybody is capable of higher states but you will be given the techniques and all start practicing after your um, this program is over after you are established in the awareness in waking dreaming and sleeping it will become very easy and then you can access the higher states and if at the time you are still interested in this kind of experimentation yes go ahead do it by the time 30 40 50 years will pass probably you'll forget and i don't know where i'll be <laughs> there is no me already so i'll tell you a shortcut there is a shortcut to get the same effect without any firework without any magic it is magic but without this kind of hard work and that is called service which is given in our step number 7 of the program how to serve people not people seekers on the path of knowledge how to become useful for them then probably somebody will want to connect to you right now i don't think anybody wants this especially in the higher masters the great masters gurus at that time you will become useful for them to connect right now i don't think anybody is interested nobody wants to connect to me also only when i pray they send me some messages here and there otherwise not so there is a video in the end of step number 7 which is called the guru field it is a tantric approach it is not path of knowledge it's not there on the path of knowledge guru field is a uh, occult concept but because it is useful it is given to you everybody so you will know guru field on step number 7 there are methods given there to connect to the guru field not to the guru the guru is probably the most useless thing in the universe whatever you think is the guru is a momentary puppet of made up of dirt it will go back in dirt that is not the real guru the real guru is the guru field and uh, there are ways to connect to it without going in the occult uh, practices simply become a servant now that sounds like some other path isn't it not the path of knowledge here servant means to do that which the guru field wants they want to spread knowledge they want to bring everybody out of suffering they want to spread the light of awareness if you start doing that somebody will take interest in you yes this seems to be a useful fellow and they will start guiding you not only that they will start helping you in uh, getting rid of all the obstacles in your work if you face small problems they will be taken care of your own progress will speed up so on spiritual progress although it is not all guaranteed it can happen without doing the trouble of all that uh, practices rituals so probably that kind of connection will be beneficial for you not any other kind fancy kind or 
simply for entertainment or just to check whether it happens or not there is no harm in experimenting but uh, that should not be our goal goal should be very high always keep your goal highest the highest goal is service then you don't need to connect they will connect to you there is a service in many companies no do not call do not call we'll call you <laughs> guru field is same they say don't trouble us we'll contact you if you are useful for us if it is needed actually probably you don't know it nobody knows this because newcomers in the spirituality the guru field is always connected to you how come you don't know it because very new isn't it you cannot sense it the sensitivity is almost zero for a worldly person you are getting the guidance all the time but probably you don't know when will you know when you will progress to some extent when you will recognize the importance of service selfless service and you will pray to the guru field not for fulfillment of your desires but fulfillment of desires of others that is called service then you will get a little bit of hint that yes i was always connected this is called grace it is always showering on everybody the bottom line is become worthy of that grace and then whatever you want will happen so now it must be very clear why i am doing all these things why i am doing this service why it is free why i am mostly available for people because i realize the value of this thing i came to know that this is the only way to connect to the higher existence higher forms of existence human being is a lower form very low and when you connect you progress when you connect to the higher you will reach that place but it is not easy it is not easy it is not as easy as it sounds because it will also take many lifetimes some people are already connected you come in contact with guru field simply by joining the path any spiritual path i'm not talking about the path of knowledge here because at the level of guru field it's all one it's all all the paths are same because this is my experience that when i started to serve it, the guru field became obvious to me otherwise i will never say about these things or i'll put them in quotations like look somebody else said this Uh, but uh, when i say so confidently about guru field that means it must be my own experience and yes everybody is free to believe or disbelieve it once it becomes your experience you will know the um, importance of it i am not saying it is true it is not true actually it is all illusion but it is a useful illusion so i told you two ways and uh, the first is difficult second is uh, not so difficult but it is not easy but before that you should get in the habit of not believing what people say that is important do not assume that there can be a connection that it is possible and uh, in one sentence you will get the recipe of connection it is not the reality remember there are other sides of this connection business once you open the door everything can come in just like your house if you keep your house door open your friends can come in but uh, other people can also come in which may not be good for you so that is a hint that is why it is recommended to go by the way of service but if those who are daring those who are fearless and those who have a little bit of genetic ability by genetic i mean it is also from the point of view of higher mind past life abilities they can jump into occult and the arrangement is made for such kind of people in tantra bodhi program so nothing is impossible just learn the proper way krish is saying i would contemplate on uh, what guru says and ask for clarification if i find something unclear yes that is the point of connection hopefully he is talking about that connection only why don't you do the experiment right now also right now means at this stage in the step number 4 or 5 if you have any doubt if something is unclear do our uh, contemplation ritual isn't it <laughs> i made it into a ritual because people found it very difficult to sit down and contemplate the contemplation is nothing but connection to the guru field many must have found out this by now 
ask for clarification why is there guru mantra in the beginning of that ritual or any mantra any remembrance of the master if you don't like the guru mantra it is not mantra it is simply prayer you are asking for help so if you start making this foundation right now it will be beneficial and if nothing happens no problem at least your contemplation happened properly yes krish is saying that was answer for your previous question on what would you do if guru told you to do something acha i see yeah i completely forgot about this question yes you should think ask for clarification very good i'll tell you that there is no other option actually if you cannot do that which your guru told you to do you can politely say i cannot do it tell me something else show me some other way give me an option and the guru if they are very kind you see some gurus are really kind and loving some are not oh uh, the guru will give you some other option something easier usually there is no option because the guru must have told you to do something or not to do something for your own benefit and if you don't do it uh, the progress stops and nothing else will happen your progress will slow down not even stop and yes it is very and uh, good to ask for a clarification why did you tell me to do usually you don't need to because it, the reason will be obvious to you if it is not obvious you should ask and it is my uh, experience that never say no do whatever you want but never say no always say yes i'll do it i'll try to do it i'll try my best your words are the last your words your wish is my command say something like this to your guru if you can do it do it otherwise there is um, no harm only that after after some time if the guru asks did you do that did you stop that and if you say no he will be angry he or she usually that which the seeker or the student can do easily is told guru also knows what is your uh, capability suppose something is causing disturbing the peace let us say it's your job and guru can say leave the job but yes that person will know that it is not so easy to leave the job so something else is told like find some other job find something which is more peaceful probably the, the payment is less but there is more peace of mind and more time for your practice something like this advice will be given and you can see that it is for your benefit but if you cannot do it then something else will be given or you will keep doing that you will remain in that situation for a long time sometimes the guru will give you something some job some work some service some task simply to test your surrender so it is very tricky is the guru testing you see i am revealing all the secrets because you you have progressed to that step you should know all these things some day some of you will become gurus and then you will need to test so something is given and the guru does not really want you to do it or it is just a test and you should be wise enough intelligent enough to know that it is my test he is testing me usually it's not possible to know but think of everything as a test whatever is given to you whatever commands are given to you think of it as a test because the guru is watching probably is not expecting you to do that watching the reaction so all the gurus do that this is the secret as for clarification yes no <laughs> no no issue about that but uh, but the short answer is we don't have any option there if it is too difficult many people leave that guru that is what i have seen sometimes if the guru sees that uh, you are not progressing he will tell you something so difficult that you will leave that place it is a good way to get rid of people who are not worthy <laughs> another secret of gurus so you must have seen there are so many obstacles on your way on the path of knowledge also in our program also you are made to go through some 12 questions in the beginning then uh, you are made to listen and write then there is test and all so on you see these are all ways to filter out those who are not serious i am not saying worthy or not worthy but i get to filter them out those who are not very serious those who are not interested so everything that the guru says has a purpose 
usually it is for your own good whatever others say is totally worthless totally useless even if they are other seekers even if they are on your own path there you should be very very critical what was told if somebody comes to you and says you want to connect to that guru i have this process i have this ritual take this idol photo <laughs> do this you will get connect well you need to be skeptical about these things other people and not to be followed this is my experience in general people are not to be trusted and followed it always leads to problems especially in the spiritual field you can trust them in some other field you see financial or worldly things although it is also risky somebody says no this is not true that is true never trust that person find out for yourself what is true <laughs> ask for evidence usually people have no evidence all these people all they have is beliefs after beliefs blind beliefs let us say take this example of connection those who are already connected to somebody they will never advertise it they will never say it openly especially to people who are strangers these things are kept secret what happens is the stories of the great gurus they leak out and they become rumors that somebody says one day i got this experience in my dream i connected to the guru and some other people believe them and this is how it all starts 99% of it is all garbage it's all false i i also had these kind of demands and desires and <laughs> i used to demand that thing but uh, i came to know that if it is for my good the guru will do it before you ask it if it is for your good the guru field will come and connect to you you don't even need to ask this is a stage of complete surrender you're not talking to me i'm fine i'm okay you're talking to me very good same way you're connected to me fine there must be some reason you're not it is the best thing because there is no need of that i am already peaceful blissful so this is the final stage of a seeker that if it is not happening it's not a big problem for them if it happens that means guru has connected to you <laughs> that means expect some work expect some trouble it happens all the time like your boss is not calling you for one week no problem at all he is happy you are also happy no work one day he calls in the morning 7 o'clock urgent meeting sharp 9 o'clock you can guess that something is coming now either i did something wrong or um, there is a new project and no holidays for two months over time same way <laughs> if the guru field is connecting to you expect that your life will be upside down now that is why these things are not told to everybody that is why there are no shortcuts or rituals to get connected to anything there are dangers like i said you cannot open your door like this so i think there are more no more questions today and uh, meditate contemplate on this information see whether it is right or wrong and uh, continue in the program keep sending the reports those who are preparing for the exams they can contact neelam contact neelam for assistance and uh, i'll see you next time in the next meeting thank you everybody for attending today's meeting namaste